Hi, and welcome to a Wednesday edition of Auto Week TV. I know it doesn't feel that way, but this week is already halfway over. That's great news for those of us at the office, and not so great news for all of you who are working on some vacation. Here's a check of the pulse of the auto world. Mitsubishi has introduced two new versions of the IMEV electric car in Japan. What's the difference between the two? Well, the entry-level M version is cheaper, down to about 32 grand, but has less range. The higher grade G version has an extended range, about 110 miles on the full charge, but it costs 46,900. Mitsubishi will begin selling the IMEV in the US later this year. Open Wheel Racing is returned to the Auto Club Speedway in California next year. The IndyCar Series said Tuesday it will stage a night race on the two mile oval, likely in the fall. IndyCar left the track after the 2005 race, ending a three year run. The flying car is one step closer to reality. Terra Fugia, which makes a car plane name transition, has been given some special exemptions by NHTSA. The transition will use plastic windows instead of auto safety glass. That saves weight and won't block the driver's or pilot's view if it breaks. Also, the transition will use special tires that are road certified and can handle the stress of landings. Terra Fugia says deliveries of the transition won't start until late next year. And finally for today, the redesigned Honda Odyssey minivan yes, the one with the Judas Priest music in the commercial, has joined the Auto Week long-term fleet. Here are editors Wes Raynal and John Wong with an intro. As much as we love sports cars here at Auto Week, we have to admit that a minivan always does come in handy. And actually, the last minivan we had in the fleet, we had put over 30,000 miles on it in a year. And I expect the same thing to happen with our latest Honda, too. There's times when you have to haul your family, haul your stuff. Uh, you can't beat a minivan for that type of activity. This particular one is as good as, the, as they come. The big deal about mechanical is the uh, 3.5 liter V6. It's got cylinder deactivation, so it can operate on th three, four, and six cylinders, right. I believe. And the Touring Elite also gets the six-speed automatic transmission, which helps bump uh, fuel economy up. And I think if you load this thing up with your family, get out on the freeway, you're going to get 25 plus miles to the gallon with it. And hauling, you know, people, all your stuff, getting what is essentially economy car mileage, it's, it's just, it's, a, it's kind of a no-brainer to, to consider one of these if you're in the market for a people hauler. Right. I mean, I think the EPA rating for, on the highway for this car is 28 miles per gallon. And that's, that's, it's amazing. That's really good for a 4,500-pound vehicle. And actually, you know, it's not a 911, obviously, yeah. but it, it's not a dog. It, it merges on the freeway nicely. It's, it's reasonably quick. It's got a really nice chassis. It doesn't handle per se, but for a people hauler, it handles pretty well. Right, and for 2011, Honda came out with a whole all new generation Odyssey. Uh, the big thing about the design is that they got this lightning bolt belt line, which curves down here in the rear. And they were making a big deal about it because they wanted it to look just not as like a normal boring box. Like a town and country. <laughs> like a town and country, exactly. No, I'm kidding. It's hard to differentiate your minivan from the other guy's minivan and you know give Honda credit for trying. I think it looks good. I think it looks like a Honda, which is not a bad thing. It's got all the bells and whistles inside, uh, satellite radio, DVD player, seats eight people, tons of storage space for your gear. And it's just too useful not to have a minivan in the fleet all the time. So there you have it, our brand new 2011 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite, 15 cup holders, a crazy lightning bolt belt line. We look forward to putting a lot of miles on this thing. For Auto Week, I'm John Wong. I'm Wes Raynal. Enjoy the drive. Thanks, guys. Now, you won't believe it, but the Odyssey is one of the most popular cars in our fleet right now. That's a wrap for today. We'll see you back here tomorrow, and until then, enjoy the drive. Thanks for watching today's edition of Auto Week TV. Be sure to catch all the latest car enthusiast news on AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek Magazine, and in AutoWeek's iPad edition.